I, Vinita Philip, Assistant Professor of Department of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, AISSMS Institute of Information Technology, present my subsequent video titled DFT Properties Using MATLAB pertaining to the subject DSP. The transformation of DFT and IDFT can be viewed as a linear transformation on the endpoint vectors x of n and x of k. In this video, I would be discussing some important properties of DFT and demonstrating the same using MATLAB. The three properties that would be discussed are complex conjugate property, linearity property and time reversal property. So let us begin with complex conjugate property of DFT. Let x of n be a real n periodic sequence that is DFT of x of n gives x of k then x conjugate of n by 2 minus k is equal to x conjugate of x of minus k which is equal to x of n by 2 plus k. We know that DFT exhibits this property. Here is a small program to observe this property. First we enter the required sequence. By simply calculating FFT and displaying the output we can observe this property. So x is our input sequence. Take FFT of this x and display it. So let us consider here an 8 point signal x of n as 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. From the output displayed we can observe symmetric nature about the central value x of 4. The DFT output using the MATLAB program just discussed is as seen in the following table. The next property is linearity. If dft of x1 of n is x1 of k and x2 of n is x2 of k, then linearity property of dft states that a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n gives a1 x1 of k plus a2 x2 of k, where a1 and a2 are constants. We can conclude from this property that DFT of linear combination of two or more signals is equal to the sum of linear combination of DFT of individual signal. Let us demonstrate this property with the help of a MATLAB program. So here x1 and x2 are as shown. We take a equal to 3 and b equal to 4. Taking the FFT of those Input sequences, we store them in capital X1 and X2. We display the DFT of X2. Now coming to the LHS part of the property, which is A into X1 plus B into X2 is stored in X3. Taking the FFT of X3, storing it in LHS, displaying it. Taking the absolute of LHS, and then using the subplot command 2, 2, 1, which is 2 rows, 2 column and the first position. Then the command stem is used to discretize the signal, giving the title to the signal as the magnitude spectrum of LHS. Then calculating the angle of LHS, storing it in P. And using the subplot command subplot 2, 2, 3, that is 2 rows, 2 columns and the third position. Discretizing the signal by using the stem command, giving title and displaying it. Now coming to the RHS side which is X4 is equal to A into capital X1 which is the DFT of X1 plus B into X2 which is the DFT of X2. Storing this X4 in RHS, displaying this RHS and taking the absolute value. From the figure windows of this property, we see that the magnitude spectrum of LHS and RHS are identical and so is the phase spectrum. Hence, this property is proved. 
the third property discussed in this video is time reversal property so if dft of x of n is x of k then x of minus n is equal to x of n minus n and the dft gives x of minus k which is equal to x of n minus k here double parenthesis indicates that it is periodic with period n let us demonstrate this property with the help of a matlab program we have to write a program to calculate dft of x of n using fft command so for our input sequence x equal to 1 2 3 2 5 2 3 5 the dft calculated using fft of x is stored in capital of x and then displayed and for k going from 1 to 8 we will use subplot to plot this and then use command plot k comma angle of this calculated dft of x we now have to calculate dft of a time reverse signal so x of minus n in our case is y which is 1 5 3 2 5 2 3 2 the dft calculated using command fft of y is stored in capital of y then for k going from 1 to 8 for an 8 point dft we will use subplot to plot this and then use the command plot k comma angle of this calculated dft of y the process indicating time reversal of a periodic signal is as shown in the first table and the process indicating time reversal of our original sequence x and the time reverse sequence y is as shown in the second table the corresponding 8 point dft of the original sequence x that is x of k and the time reverse sequence y that is x of minus k is as shown in this table if we carefully observe the dft coefficients of x of minus k we see that for each coefficient there is phase reversal the phase angle for each sample of dft coefficient of x of minus n that is y is the negative of the phase angle for the corresponding dft coefficient for x of n the phase reversal is clearly visible in these figures which are dft plotted for the original and time reverse sequence this is because each dft coefficient gets replaced by its complex conjugate that's all for now thank you for watching